Hi this is a search box I will show you how to make it in this video. Here are three simple steps to create a search box in Excel. This is the sales data of the sellers. And here is the sheet showing the results you searched for. I will leave the sample file in the description for you to practice. Step 1 is how to create the correct search box. From the data you create a table and name it. In this case I name this table data. I choose cell B1 as the name of the seller I want to find. I will color it yellow to distinguish it from other cells. Next, you create the following formula to get exact search results by seller's name. You use a function called filter to filter the rows whose names are entered in cell B1. The purpose of this command is to search in the table name data the sellers with the same name in cell B1. If not found, the text not match found will appear. The command completed, now I check the result. I entered David in cell B1. Below are the lines found for a person named David. This is the result of the cell of David. But this way only tells you the result when you know the exact name of the seller. Step 2 I show you how to find an approximation. With this method, you just need to enter the approximate name of the seller, below will appear approximate results for you. That way you don't need to enter the entire name of the person you want to find. To do that you change the command as follows. Instead of looking for an exact you look for an approximate. You use functions called as number and search to find approximate results. And this is the result. I just enter part of the seller's name, and below will appear data with approximate names for you. With this way of searching will be more convenient and easier for you. Step 3 and also the last step, that is to create the search box. You insert a new oval. A little modification for beauty. Next you insert the magnifying glass icon on the right. You zoom out, then teleport to the right position. I will adjust the color to lighten it a bit. Inside the oval you insert a text box. This is the box for you to enter the information you are looking for. Because in previous steps I created search functions with cell B1 so you bind this text box to cell B1. When you enter the text box, the information will be updated in cell B1. So you can enter the information you are looking for in the text box and you will get the search result you want. Next you hide the border of this text box. Then you hide cell B1 by turning it white. Cell B1 still exists but you won't see it. Next you add a title for this sheet. The steps are almost done, only a few steps left to make it look better. So I hide Excel's grid. But I still want the result lines to show a border so you do the following. You format the border for non-blank lines. 
and above are three simple steps to create a search box in Excel. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. There are a lot of good videos on my channel, don't forget to visit it. Good luck.